This is an interesting one. Ian Gary, the future, against Darian Weeks, who I guess is the present. <laughs> um, or it could be the past after this weekend. We don't know. We don't know. We'll know in a week's time. <laughs> okay, we can. It's fine. We can just edit that. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> So Ian Gary is obviously, you know, undefeated, 8-0, came through Cage Warriors, very slick striker, very smart delivery of his techniques, you know, the way he sets up his uh, his right high kick. And he was, was it uh, Rostam Machman on Cage Warriors? And he set him up perfectly for that high kick. That guy is really hairy, by the way. Yeah, mad hairy, like, right? Or like if you had to grapple with him and just think about his sweaty hair <laughs> going in your mouth, it'd be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like there, there should be a rule that you'd have to, if it's that much, you have to wax it off because that's like, yeah, that's not, that's not okay. Maybe he's got the he's got the body hair advantage. Yeah, that's that's cheating. <laughs> that's like having bad odor yeah, on, trying it, to like. It does win. look like he's wearing a shirt when he's yeah. not wearing a shirt. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, he was the winner of IMAF. He's a good fighter, and and Ian Gary was able to stop him without making it look particularly difficult. Now his his UFC debut was was a little bit rocky at times. He did get caught with a few shots. Um, got his nose bloodied and you know got kind of pushed around a little bit in the early goings against um, um, Jordan Williams, but then was able to set him up for that lovely counter, that lovely counter right that he landed. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a really slick striker. This kid, he's got a he has got a bright future ahead of him. I don't work for anybody anymore, so I can say what the fuck I like. I am concerned about his his team situation. Because like he he had a team, he was very stable and everything was working out, and then all of a sudden, he got kind of and was wag trap. Yeah, wag trap. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was it. That is it. Hashtag wag trap. <laughs> um, yeah, and and like I don't know. It just it concerns me that he's he's a little bit a little bit further ahead than he than he should be right now. I'd have liked to have seen him get maybe one or two more fights on Cage Warriors. And really establish himself because, like, he's going to be accelerated very quickly. I think this is a good matchup for him. Yeah, but the, yeah, the, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I think I this mentioned. is a good matchup for him. I think, and I think that's the way that they're going to craft his career. But it, but it's the, it, the the levels are going to increase very quickly, especially with him having an undefeated record. Because yeah. the UFC are only going to they're only going to kind of guide him and his career for so long until the demands become like, hang on a minute, okay, yeah, somebody to... better somebody better do you and think his transition now over to because he's training at stanford mma as that's well a right wicked move that's a great move because yeah. he's because he's going to be surrounded by guys that are already fighting at a decent level guys that are going to be able to push him and show him that level without him being in in, in the cage doing it yeah but the, but there is still a difference there's always a difference with being on the mats and then going into the ufc and there's there's a <clears throat> The marketing machine behind this kid is it might be a bit too much for him at this stage because he's got, you know, he's got uh, sponsorship deals and endorsements and stuff. And I think he's doing all the right things. But it, what it also does is it piles pressure onto his shoulders, you know. But don't you think sometimes instead of it feeling like pressure, it feels like confidence? Oh yeah, for sure, absolutely it does, and I think he's got he's got buckets full of confidence. But then in the in the moments in that first uh, UFC fight where he starts to get cracked by Jordan Williams and his nose is bloodied, that confidence can start to unravel. Of course, he, you know he got the finish in that fight, but there are going to be points where he is pushed into the later rounds. And like, but with a finish, it's very easy to forget about the moments that you were like with a bloody nose or that you struggled. Absolutely. Right? Like same thing with uh with Patty that some people mentioned but other people are like kind of just put it under the bus because because he ended up winning that first debut just s similar to Ian Gary with with a stoppage, mm. with an impressive stoppage and had struggled beforehand but nobody will ever mention it unless it's Michael Bisping on the mic straight <laughs> after. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that was, I, I, that I know. Mean. I know what you're saying. Like the reason I'm saying it is because I, rem I remember back to his fight against Jack Grant on Cage Warriors. Yeah, and like there were points in that fight where where he he, he looked under pressure. But that was a five round fight. It though. was, a yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. But the, the level is going to keep improving, and Jack Grant is that is a good European level. But then the level is going to increase very quickly, and and because of the fanfare and the 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 attention on this kid. The way that he's selling himself, he's going to be his, his career is going to be expedited. That's my concern for him. I think Darian Weeks is a good fight for him. I think he's a I think he's a, a a durable individual that will most likely test him into the second or third round. Yeah. 
and I and I do think you know with the like so he's got a, a decent four inch height advantage, two inch reach advantage. I think he's going to be faster. I think he's got a better striking skill set. Um, the one thing that I am interested from Darian Weeks though is he does a lot of that like hop stomp sidekick to the lead leg, mm-hmm. and I wonder what that's going to do to Ian Gary's movement. Um, I mean, I think Ian Gary's going to do it, but I just yeah. I just hope that he's I hope that he's moved along at the right pace and he's not rushed because he's definitely a bright a bright kid. He's also a really nice kid. Real nice kid. Real nice. I was kid. like, I was really surprised when when we spoke to him just how polite and nice he is. Yeah. Yeah. But Darian Weeks, I feel um, overswings sometimes with his punches, mm-hmm. with his overhands. That it just it's like perfect for Ian Gary style, which yeah. is slip back counter, especially when he uses those those uh, kicks that just either get your guard up or destabilize you and then and then make you sort of attack before you really want to attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that can draw a lot of stuff from Darian Weeks and then get countered with yeah. angle like changes and yeah, just crosses. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the way he incorporates um like takedowns in mm-hmm. with his strikes, Darian Weeks. Yeah. So I mean I think that that's that's the smart way to go yeah. here. Like Ian Gary's ground game against Jack Grant looked really good. You know, good sub defense. He's very flexible. He's, you know, he's very aware. He's very, very aware of what's going on. Um, but like that, there were points in that fight where he, he looked very fatigued, Panic, yeah. you know, and, and uncomfortable. Um, and I just, that, that was my concern. Like that's, that's what I'm saying is like Jordan Williams was an ideal first opponent in the UFC. Darian Weeks is an ideal second opponent, mm-hmm. but that fight against Jack Grant, I, if, if I was his management, I would have gone, hang on a minute, let's give him one more on cage warriors. Let's get him someone else that's, that's of a Jack Grant kind of level. That's going to test him on a good European standard and see where he's at because the Ackman fight, as soon as I watched that, I thought to myself, yeah, no doubt he's, he's electric. He's definitely ready. The way he dealt with Ackman, who was a UFC veteran. Absolutely. And he'd been going through people first and second rounds up to that point. But did he train before with Jack Grant? Cause they were no. like, were they friends? Or uh, something? Sorry. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, they, they were, but they, he also had left his camp before the Jack Grant fight. So he was a bit in limbo. Ah, uh, yes. You know yeah, what I, I mean? Remember. And it takes some time to adjust to a new training camp as well. And that's maybe what we saw in, in the early going against Jordan Williams. Yeah. You know, because I don't think he had a camp for that. Um, that S- Jack Grant was so. it? Paul Hughes stepped into his corner last minute in that one. Yeah, yeah. Paul Hughes stepped in, in uh, last minute to corner him. It's just like that. You know, that whole kind of restlessness. Like, hopefully, you know, he's, it looks like he's far more settled now um, in the U.S. and stuff. But still, the expectation's really high, and he talks up that expectation all the time as well. Yeah, the good thing about that is that you do get the attention that you would need. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, if you don't talk up, if there's no expectation and stuff, there's also no interest in helping you evolve quicker. Yeah. And because if somebody sees, oh, there's a lot of stuff behind this guy, let me get behind him right now. Mm-hmm. And it's a good investment for me as a coach, as a training partner, as a whatever yeah. to get a lot of exposure. So that also benefits. It's just it's kind of like having money, mm. like when you have money and you can bring in whoever you want and do that having that is 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 a currency as well yeah, yeah which is sure. just a different currency yeah. that can help you evolve yeah I, i'm i'm thinking ian gary's gonna take it yeah i, do I, I think well. i think he's i, I think actually think he's, yeah i think well. he's gonna stop him i think he's gonna stop him um it wouldn't surprise me if, the, if it's that right high kick hmm. i think he might be able to set him up for that similar to what he did against um against ackman that was a really nice finish. I think he's, you, you know, use his height and his reach and back him up against the fence and then set him up for a finish. Yeah. I've got high hopes for Ian Gary. I, re- I really hope he does well. I, I'm, I'm nervous at the same time though. 